My Bible tells me there's a day coming when every knee will bow and every tongue will confess Jesus Christ is Lord. There is a cosmic civil war going on. And it's a battle that's been going on since that day when a superhuman spirit being said, I will be as God. And God said, oh no, you won't. I was sitting in a home in Little Rock, the home of a Chinese man. He's from Red China, raised under atheistic communism. And uh, the man said, I don't agree with the Bible on one thing. I think there are two gods, a good God and an evil God. I said, well, that's exactly what the Bible says. <laughs> there are two gods, a good God and an evil God. There's only one true God. But behind all of the gods of this world, all of the idols and the false religions of the world, there is a God. He is called the God of this world. And he's a false God. He's a pretender to the throne. And men have believed that he is the true God. And they follow him and they worship him, perhaps unbeknownst. But there was one man who would not bow the knee to that false god. Do you know who he was? He was the rightful heir to the throne of the universe. And he came to this planet in disguise, dressed as a carpenter. And one day, Emmanuel, God with us, and the God of this world met in a desert and they stood on the top of a high mountain and in a moment of time flashing before them was the substance of the book of Daniel the kingdoms of the Gentiles in all their glory and the God of this world said to Emmanuel you bow down to me and I'll give it all to you and Emmanuel responded to the God of this world and said, It is written, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. There's a day coming when every knee will bow. And on that day, the God of this world will bow both his knees to Jesus of Nazareth, and he will be crowned Lord of all. God has made that same Jesus, whom men crucified, both Lord and Christ.